So I want to show you how to make a photo holder uh, to hold your photograph that you're using as your source to paint from. And it's really important to hold your photograph right even next to your canvas so that when you're painting here, you want your photograph to be right next to it. It really makes a difference and can affect the quality of your work. Okay, so this is really easy to make. Uh, this is a two by four. These are all two by fours, uh, these three. Uh, this is 60 inches. This is 14 inches, 25 inches, and this one is 19 inches on the long from here to here. This one's cut at 45. Uh, this one I've cut the corners off of, but you don't have to do that. Um, and I've got, gone ahead and drilled these, and I've drilled them su such that if I take a, this screw, and these are two and a half inch screws, and then these are uh, one and a half inch screws, which I'm going to use uh, to attach the plywood. But these six two and a half inch screws need to be able to slip very See how that goes through the hole? And I've got two holes, and it's important that it slips through the hole like that. Okay, so the first thing, first thing I'm going to screw together is uh, this long piece. And the 25-inch piece. And I'm just going to screw it right on there. Put some, definitely want to put some wood glue down. And I'm going to first, I'm going to put one screw in, and then I'm going to check for the rightness of it. And this is centered on the 2x4. Now I'm going to take the right angle and make real sure that this is exactly square. Nice and tight. All right, and then I'm going to flip this over and put the 14 inch like that. Now, I need to think about if you're right handed, if you're right handed or left handed. Um, if this is going to be for a right handed person, then when I stand it up, I want this leg to be on this side like so. That would be for a right-handed person. And if you're, it's left-handed, you just put it on the other side. So let me make sure this is right-handed. goes like so. Put a little wood glue. So I'm going to now put the 45 degree on and see this one is drilled like that and this one is drilled like that because it's going to go right there. So I'll put a little wood glue and screw this one in first. This one. Okay, and then the last thing will be to attach the plywood. Okay, so if this is for a right handed person, it's going to stick out like so. I'm going to screw it onto this side. If it's for a left-handed person, then it's going to be attached that way. Okay, but this is for a right-handed person, 
And so we'll go ahead and attach it right there. Got a wood glue. So I'm just making it flush with the top of the two by four and then lined up along one edge, just like so. Okay, once I've got one screw in, then I'm gonna really make sure that this is lined up along the edge. That's even more important than it being flush with the top. Okay, so that's about right. Okay, so now that this is finished, I want to tell you a few other things. Uh, we're going to put, this is really, really important, is to put little feet on the ends here and then one on the back so that you have a tripod base because otherwise it's going to rock on the center base. You've got to glue, just take some wood glue and some little wood blocks and just glue three of them, one, two, and then one on the back. Okay, and then it won't wobble like that. And you could even put a weight onto it. You could clamp a weight to it if you want it to be even more stable. The other thing you can do is you can sand this edge here so that you don't scuff up your canvas accidentally by rubbing it against the, your canvas. So take us some sandpaper and really make a nice rounded edge here. And then you can even get it closer. Now, when I'm ready to use it, I sit down here. I can put this, you want to, if I'm looking at my canvas straight like that, then I want to move this so that I'm looking at it perpendicular. So that when I turn and look at it, my view to my photo is perpendicular like that. Okay? So there we are. It's a little bit too steep. Now if I'm working here, my photograph goes right there. And definitely want to paint this all black. Um, maybe even two coats here and sand it so it's nice and smooth and you get good adhesive when you stick your photographs on. And that's it. That's how you make a photograph holder.